Hey, everybody. Welcome to AJS News. This is the second video that we've got for you today. Mm-hmm. But first, a word from our sponsors. The sponsor this week, again, is Exter. Exter has an amazing product. They've been working with us for a very, very long time. If you're looking for an amazing wallet, especially with Father's Day coming around, got a great go, to the, go to those links down below. Get your dad a wallet. You'll get one yourself. comes with tracker cards. There's all sorts of amazing things on and the website. Money clip. Oh, money clip. This metal tool card that, you know, it's got all sorts of really cool stuff on it. So check those links down below. There's definitely something in there that you're going to like. All right. Mobile games. They suck, and we talked about them last time, and I still hate them. Uh, Apex Legends. Uh, all right. I'm gonna, we're going to play a game. Um, PUBG, in its first week, PUBG Mobile made $600,000. Pretty disappointing uh, in the first week. And the second... Like, How is that and, disappointing? <laughs> well, it's a mobile game. Uh, Call of Duty Mobile made $14 million? First week. How much do you think Apex made in its first week? One billion. <laughs> no. It made five million dollars. A little disappointing. Which sounds Halfway. ridiculous. Which sounds ridiculous that a mobile game uh it had a kind of a disappointing open when it made five million dollars in its first week. And uh Someone was telling me they were they were paying more attention to the mobile game than to do with the real game because they got a new character, Fade or something like yeah. that, and they do more customization. They got more maps and stuff for the mobile game. Yeah. And we're, I forget what season we're on, and we get Robocop. Old and bust. Oh, well, it's and just like, look, one's the new hotness. We play the same fucking map every fucking time. They, the thing is, they already have the people on PC for the most part hooked, right? They're gonna play yeah. every single season. They're gonna get the new champion. They're probably gonna buy a skin, uh, and really, they're they're trying to get a, a go after a new uh, market. And the new market is people shitting and wanting to play video games. Are you sitting at your desk and being tired of, you know, working, and then you want to shoot somebody with your cell phone? I I don't know. I don't like the controls on there would be all like wonky, wouldn't it? I guess you gotta get used. To, I, I don't I, know. I don't know. I I just I, I know I'm I'm so old and crotchety. Like <laughs> Me I, too. I'm just like, like what? You don't play shooters in your goddamn cell phone? <laughs> yeah, it's just like you have almost no control over it. Like no, I would I would rather have less video game time, but quality video game time than more video game time while shitting. And uh, I don't know. I, maybe some people like it. They didn't like it enough to, to really oh, hit those yeah, Call of Duty they numbers. They obviously do like it. What is it, 500 mil? Five million in one week. Five million, that's right. Five million in one week, which is really good for a mobile game. That's probably all of the development, all of the other things going along. I mean, they're, you know, they're just reporting over at, like assets and, and from, the, from the original PC game. And put um, it in work, which I'm surprised. Yeah. U.S. was the top country for player spending, $2 million, and it's just going to continue to go up. We'll probably yeah, monitor what it it's first month, because the first month usually tells us like how successful the mobile game is going to be. Um, everyone's trying to reach those Call of Duty mobile numbers, because they, I mean, they did really good money their first year, and so the other developers are kind of chasing that. And remember, EA is having issues, uh, you know, People, you know, people are talking about buying EA right now, and they're like, "Remember, when you think of EA, you think that this absolute video game giant." And Madden spending is up. Uh, EA, yeah, FIFA that's what I is, thought they were going to be fine because of all that stuff. But the we were the regulations are tightening on them, and they're worried about the future, and so they really need to open up different lines of revenue, kind of diversify what's happening. Because if they lose a huge percentage of the sports game revenue. Because countries continue That's to great. regulate them, they, they, they stand to lose a lot. So they really probably have to lean hard on Respawn, make sure that the, the Apex money keeps flowing. It's just, again, it's silly to us that the battle pass for Apex Legends PC Edition is laughably bad. Like yes. You have probably the worst battle pass in any of the major, of the major video games and uh, hire one They're person. not even fucking trying. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad stuff, and you should, you should feel bad and, and make it better. But, hey, at least you made $5 million. All right, Microsoft Jesus. is has is shelving its Keystone Xbox streaming device while simultaneously uh, making a dongle for game streaming. So Microsoft wants to get in more into cloud gaming. They want to make kind of a Chromecast type thing yeah. that you can cast video <coughs> games to take a, take advantage of like the great deal that is Game Pass and be able to play things on your TV if you don't have an Xbox or if you don't have a, uh, something else that's going on. So it's, it's a really, really interesting concept. They are shelving the Keystone one that they were working on for a, a bit of time, and they're more, um, 
re- kind of doubling their efforts on this Chromecast style one. So that's um, I'll be down for that because I'm still I still use GeForce Now. GeForce Now is incredible. Yeah, I bought myself um, a little controller for my. That's some mobile games I play. Does that count? But you have a controller on your phone, but you're yeah, but they're not mobile yeah. game. You're playing games <laughs> mobily, but you're not playing it lower still effort mobile counts, games. Still counts, right? Sort it's on the go, of. but I still don't use it in the toilet though. Even though I have uh, my attachments and everything, so it's pretty sweet. Do you just take the control? You, you no, don't. I don't. I'm like, all right, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm gonna place this down when it's sanitary, not in the bathroom. It's just like, what are you doing in there that, like, the entire, my business. The entire room? Like that little Elmo gift? Yeah. Just doing my business. That, that's you all shitting? You're yep. just like... <laughs> all right. Uh, Sony has announced live action adaptations of God of War, Horizon, and Gran Turismo. Uh, Gran Turismo. Uh, I think God of... The issue is, God of War could be really cool. Uh, yeah. If you I'm find trying, the right person. I'm trying to think of what Gran Turismo would be. Um, it's not going to be like the Need for Speed movie, right? Uh, I mean, they could go like Fast and the Furious style. Things. No, no, um, no, 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 no. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, wouldn't even be recognizable if you did that. It's like, are you, are you sure this is the same? They, this yeah. ain't GT. <laughs> so since 2020, we've heard about Twisted Metal TV show, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us, Jack and Dexter. And so now, it, like, this wasn't a surprise to anyone. Like, we've been talking a little bit about this. But officially mm-hmm. speaking, Amazon will be streaming the God of War TV series. Netflix has obtained the rights to Horizon. Um, I can't wait to see what Netflix does to possibly ruin this. You know, they're probably going to ignore all of the source material. And I don't fucking know what they're going to do. But I've, it's funny that, you know... Are, uh, I've kind of soured on Netflix so much over the last couple of years. Remember, they were like the, the they were the chosen were ones the, for yeah. for it's just like I had Netflix when you had to get DVDs by mail. I remember that. Yeah, uh, some of you kids don't. Yeah, they're like what? <laughs> what you had to wait? If it was out, you had to wait. Yeah, it's like <laughs> oh yeah, someone's been sitting on that DVD for a while. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm really curious to see what level of you know CG that they do versus practical effects. Um, I mean. Robot fights are going to be really, really tough to do and really, really expensive. Um, so they may be focusing on not robots, and maybe, f- uh, and I, I think that that kind of takes that may, that may take some way. You play? I mean, you played these games. Do you think that these are going to be any good? With the right CGI, yes. Ne- Netflix, amazing. Netflix series CGI. There's some good ones. Um, Watching Stranger Things, the CGI is not too bad right now. Oh, you, yeah, I have to start. Uh, Gran Turismo, I mean... They, if they got the budget, and I think they do have the budget. Netflix? I mean, people are canceling like crazy, but um, we'll have to see. I don't know who... It doesn't say in here who is actually picking up uh, Gran Turismo. If you guys know, you can probably let, let us know let in us the comments. Let us know down here. Uh, it's just heading to film, um, but I don't know who is is making it. I mean, it could be uh, racing. Racing movies are so hit or miss, um, and I think that I was never a big fan of racing movies. Fast Furious, I don't really consider that a racing movie. It's not just. I've seen. I've seen such ridiculous. weird. I saw the first Fast and the Furious, and there I think was, I've seen like eight and nine with you guys. Stealing DVDs, players. DVD and players in the first one, right? <laughs> And then now they they went to space Why? in a Pontiac, and so like that's 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 a big gap right there. It's, it's like, like wait a minute, what the fuck happened in the middle of this this series for <laughs> for for this shit to happen? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. All right, in other news, Cyberpunk. Uh, I'm gonna read this this title this this news this this article in two different ways. Tell me which one you like. Okay. Next gen Cyberpunk 2077 double CD project run CD projects quarter one profits or. CD Projekt Red is doing so poorly with its sales of Cyberpunk that re- simply releasing it on consoles it didn't release versions to doubled its profits. Second one's better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's not how they are saying it. Uh, <coughs> but so they got a major, major they bump try to in sales. Sugarcoat it. Yeah. Uh, they got a major, yeah, major bump in sales uh, because people actually want to play it on the, the next gen, actually the, ne- the true next gen versions, you know, where there's actually people on the streets. You know, you I don't know if you guys have played it on PS4, but when it was playing it, the streets were <laughs> almost empty because the PS4 couldn't actually but handle. <laughs> Even when you did have people, you, you didn't have faces. <laughs> oh yeah, they, yeah, they were all the, the, the like blocks look like Minecraft. <laughs> it, yeah, 
and people were like walking. They they'd be walking, and all of a sudden they shoot straight up into the air, and then they'd come back down. It's like my planet needs me. <laughs> So, uh, good for them, right? Um, I still haven't pick it, picked it up. I just haven't really felt like the need of revisiting it. Oh, yeah, now that you finished it. Well, I mean, it's wild. Like, you play you play a game that you like, and oh, let's say a recent game that I finished like 13, 14, 15 times. Ah, yes. And then I played Cyberpunk once, and, and I'm like, I don't ever want to do this again. I don't need to. I've done everything that I've wanted to do in this game. It was such a massive disappointment, so... Uh, it's important to release a, a quality product. Yeah. Um, but according to CEO Adam Kaczynski, uh, the launch has had a positive effect on the game's perception and sales figures, especially on consoles. Um, and so this is a bright spot for them. They'd actually been doing... They, their expectations for the last couple of years were wildly high based on the success of Witcher 3, that their position in the video game industry. Even when they hadn't released a game in many, many years, their revenue was climbing based on the, the love. The, the, and it's, yeah. they, they, they deserved it, too, because The Witcher 3 was, was incredible and just kept going up. And then they released Cyberpunk, and a lot of that goodwill went away. Some of the sales went away. And Makes sense. They were expecting Cyberpunk to kind of do what Witcher did, but bigger and better. But the problem is they didn't make the game bigger and better. They made it worse in almost every single way, and it didn't run. So. Yeah, still need more time. Still, still waiting for the uh, DLC and mm. certain updates. Yeah. Still not... Um, Still nothing on that? No. Uh, so we are s- a next gen Witcher update for The Witcher 3 is due in the second half of the year. Um, that could be interesting. Uh, I, I I would actually go back in and play a next gen update of The Witcher 3, especially if they've like polished everything up and it looks significantly yeah. better. So that's something to look forward to at the end of the year from them. Um, we'll just have to see what, what kind of DLC we get from them. Uh, we did get some leaks this week about the cyberpunk. Um, a, da- a data miner has claimed to have found like subtitles for an uh, upcoming cyberpunk 2077 expansion. Um, I, people just sit there and they go through every file that's possibly released and they go, they go through every single line, or like, you know, have, you know, spiders go through everything. <laughs> uh, but they found folders called quest and open world. And they, they're looking, they're going through, um, I don't want to give any spoilers in case you don't want to know any of these things, but it looks like there's some stuff coming. Um, it's fine. You can just whisper it to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you whisper. know later. <laughs> uh, so there's a side story that, that kind of goes along uh, of the, the main story that we'll be looking at. Um, now, again, we, just, we don't know. Adam Kaczynski, the CEO, says that Cyberpunk 2077 expansions were still in development, saying, I can confirm we are working on expansion. Nothing, nothing's changed here. Um, and then, are they? Hmm. No, I'm looking for like specific dates, um, but. I don't think they want to make it the same mistake for dates. That map they had. Oh, taken they, down. yeah, they constantly. Do. I mean, the, their issue is they made. I mean, we've watched. The issue that we had is that we watched all the marketing videos. And the marketing video showed us this insanely massive game with <laughs> like, beautiful graphics. <laughs> and then the game was released, and it's like, what the fuck is this? And people who didn't watch any of that stuff every single week when they were re- re- like revealing all those great. things, it's great. It's like, okay, well, you're not playing on PS4, which the majority of people who bought the game did were. Did not see what we were promised? Yeah. And obviously, they had two teams, one to work on the trailer and one to work on the game. Yeah. They didn't communicate. Yeah, they, well, it's for a different game. They're like, we thought we were making a movie. Uh, oh. All right, enough, enough pooping on Cyberpunk. Let's, let's shit on NFTs. Right. Um, oh, and here comes more people. Seth you Green. guys don't know about NFTs. They're the future. You guys are going to get left behind. That was one of the comments. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's good. How much money do you think they have leverage in NFTs? And uh, they're just like, oh, my God, I better be right. If they not, got 20 then- Ferraris. Tw- oh, 20 Ferraris? 15 Ferraris? Lamborghinis. Oh, that's crazy. What's the value of your NF- NFT portfolio? Pictures of them, though. They got pictures of them. Oh, they have NFTs of them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a receipt. Yes. I have the receipt. <laughs> Someone else has the Ferrari, but I got the receipt. Uh, someone stole Seth Green. Um, I heard about he, that. He got, he got, they didn't even steal it. He got, cat, he got fished, and they're like, hello, Mr. Seth Green. It is me, NFT man. I need your login and password to your NFT profile. And he's like, seems legit. And he just gave him the, and they stole his apes. Now, this is a big deal because he's working on a TV show with one of the stupid apes. And he, the ape is like the main character. And 
if he doesn't own the NFT of the ape, because when you when you buy one of the apes, the apes come with the uh, like a license that you like own the IP for TV shows mm-hmm. and all these other things. Well, he doesn't have them anymore. Someone stole them from him, and then they resold it to another guy. Now, the fact that it was resold changes things. Because if someone simply steals it and he's like, well, you stole my art, you have to give it back because I can prove that you did it. But there are laws... You have the receipt but, now. But <laughs> he sold it to someone else and there are laws protecting someone who, uh, who does not know, unknowingly, purchases stolen goods and as long as they didn't know. So unless they can confirm that there's a link between the thief and then this person. But he paid $200,000 for it, which is like too much fucking money for a receipt for a stupid yes. picture. Yes. Um, this is one of those cases that, yeah, maybe you will make more than what you bought, what you bought it for. Yeah, because you're holding it because ransom. You're ho- exactly. <laughs> uh, so Seth Green is, is he's like, oh, I'm going to sue him. I'm going to do all these other things. And all the legal experts are like, you're you going to lose. Yeah, it's like he didn't know about it. He bought it fair and square in his opinion. Yeah. He's got the receipt. Like you had the receipt. And you're the dumbass who gave your password and stuff out and got did he get hacked? Or he, just... he got fished. Okay. So I don't know. It, it wasn't. He didn't get hacked. Like no one brute forced their way. It was into a his Nigerian portfolio. prince. Yeah, <laughs> but someone, someone dead. He's like, "Hello, sir. I have a hundred apes. If I will give you a hundred apes, if you give me your one ape today." And uh, and I don't know. According to Seth Green in his in his tweet, they're like, "You're not getting it back." And he's like, "No, this is not." He says, "Not true." Since the art was stolen, a buyer who purchased stolen art with real money and refuses to return it is not legally entitled to exploitation usage of the underlying IP. It'll go to court, but he prefers to buy it from him. And then every legal expert on the internet is like, you're an idiot. That's not how the law works. Um, it just it just isn't. Because they're... The, Unfortunately for Green, the ape was quickly flipped to a user known as Darkwing84 for $200,000, and the law protects buyers who inadvertently shell out for fraudulently pr- uh, procured property. Uh, assuming this person wasn't on the scheme, they now own the ape and the right to make him the star of a TV show. Uh, this TV show sounds good like garbage. I mean, not only is it an e- is it mm, fucking mm-hmm. NFT, That's what I was gonna say. but like the TV show didn't sound. I'm just this is funny to me. And yeah, because I was gonna say I do like Seth Green. I do like Robot yeah. Chicken. He has some great stuff, but just NFT apes doesn't interest me. You own a receipt to an ugly picture. It looks like so, like a, it. It looks like worse. You know the gorillas. Uh, album art. No, no. Yeah, th- that's a big no for me. No, no for NFTs. No for metaverse. No, I'm I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, stop. Stop trying to make it happen. I'm sorry you leveraged everything. It, it's <clears> like but, a- but someone's gonna take the story. It's like, see, he made a shit ton of money. I was like, but that's this is an outlier, I guess. That yeah, he did make money, but not for the reason that you would expect. Yeah. I mean, what about the guy who bought the first tweet NFT and was expecting to make forty million? He got like thirty thousand dollars for it. I mean, that's that's everything that you need to know. So yeah. these these feel like a bunch of people with that had a massive fear of missing out on a brand new internet thing. It used all the pro- it used blockchain and uh, and uh, crypto. And they're like, oh shoot, I can't miss out on this because I missed out on all these other things, and I could have been a trillionaire. And so they bought a bunch of stupid ass shit, and some people made money, and they because of pump and dump, mm-hmm. and uh, most exactly. people lost money, and you never hear from the people who lost money because they're embarrassed as fuck that they lost their life savings buying a stupid ape. <clears throat> I'll beat you to the comments. See, we're old geezers. We don't know anything about the future. That's no. the comments. Yeah, I know that's what the comments are. <laughs> we know more than you. You're dumb. We've been around. <laughs> been around a couple of times. Yeah. We've, we've <laughs> seen this kind of shit before, and it's, and it's, it's kind of like I feel bad that you know, he lost his, his TV show because I like him. But also, yeah, but still, I wouldn't. I guess I would have checked it out just for curiosity, but that wouldn't have been. Well, you watch such bad shit anyway. That this it's true. Been on like par I said, with, I, w- I would check it out. Yeah. <laughs> On par with like Terra Rantula Seven or whatever the fuck you watch on the weekend. That was a fucking amazing movie, it, right? Is, is that a movie? <laughs> no. Are you sure? I think so. All right. There's you, no way it's seven. No. Oh, okay. You, yeah, you wouldn't know about a series that. Uh, yeah, unless it's like Tremors. Tremors. I think we're up to twenty now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me about uh, the other bad shit. Ah, uh, yes. Good stuff. Uh, For you, Harrison Ford surprises Star Wars fans with a sneak peek of Indiana Jones Five. What do you mean? There's only three. There's uh, no. The, you speaking of bad movies? <laughs> uh, have you not seen the Crystal Skull? No. Why would I? Because you need to check it out. Oh. 
Why? Because it is an amazing movie. <laughs> In 2023, Harrison Ford returns as the legendary Indiana Jones. Check out the first look. Uh, I'll put whatever we can up top right here. Yeah, don't put anything up there. They're going to fucking claim everything. No, hopefully not. This is a little trailer. Maybe I'll cut it up so they won't copyright it. But yeah, Indiana Jones 5. You excited for that one? No. Why not? Look, it was it was amazing when you got to watch, you know, like a even even a, a more distinguished but slightly older Indiana Jones. He's eighty. How old is this guy? Let's say sixties, maybe. Oh, are you are you fucking kidding me? Let's look it look up. It, I'm looking up real quick. Uh, y- y- yeah. He's eighty. He's fucking <laughs> gonna be eighty when this movie comes out. <laughs> Yeah. You want to watch a fucking 80-year-old, like, use a whip and try to, like... No. If Tom Cruise still got it, why well, can't Harrison Ford? Tom Cruise is an 80. No, he's, like, 58 or something like that. Yeah, he's almost 60. I mean, that's... A, come on. Let these friends... Like, I know they were trying... Did they try to position, like, Shia LaBeouf as, like, the next... Yes, video I saw that, and I was like, no, please stop. Mm-hmm. That's not what I want. Yeah. But at the end, it was like a little teaser. It was like, "Not yet. You just give me that hat back." Oh. You wouldn't know because you. I have to. Oh yeah, I have. I have standards. Aliens. That's what it was. They were aliens. The aliens and stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so this one's gonna be about. Uh, I'm gonna make you watch it one of these days. Mm, you gonna pay me? We have. I'll bring the wine. How <laughs> we much have wine? wine and dinner, and watch. You pay for wine and dinner. <laughs> yes. I'll watch it. See, I got him to watch it. Done. Let's I drink do a lot of wine. <laughs> All right, I'll buy a couple bottles. <laughs> the cheap stuff. Yeah, as long as it wasn't boxes, I, I'll, I'm in. Yeah, this is not something that I want under any circumstance. So, um, you think they'll use any CGI to make him look a little bit younger? De-age him? No. It's like we need to make him look sixty, not eighty. No, he's not an action. Does it? It, does it look like an action thing that he's doing, or is it just, is it him being a detective? Look, 80-year-old detective's totally fine. I was going to say, he's he's, was, he's not as mobile. Because he's 80. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, compared to other action stars, Indiana Jones wasn't as mobile. He did more puzzles and stuff like that. Anytime he hit somebody, it made an ex- almost explosion noise. That was one of the best parts about Indiana Jones. Anytime he punched, a, anytime he punched a Nazi, it was practically <laughs> pow. It was a real crisp punch. It's like, how the fuck does he make that noise? That's like wet hand slapping an ass anytime he punches somebody. And that's why he got stunt doubles. All right, um, they'll make it work. Um, I'm, I'll look forward to it. Again, I'll look forward to it because I won't forget about the Crystal Skull. Do you remember that movie with Liam Neeson trying to climb a chain link fence and they had to cut the scene like 45 times because Liam Neeson is also fucking 80 and there's no way to believably make an 80-year-old look like he can climb a fucking fence? That's what this movie's going to be. <laughs> Nothing but like ridiculous... Well, see, you can see it just for like a train wreck. It's just a bad train wreck. You're like, oh, I can't help to watch. No, no, man. <laughs> it, I'm Look, I, I have to for work, right? I have to. But if I didn't, if I wasn't literally forced to... Uh, no, because I want the no. ability to buy food. Uh, I would not watch it. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you check those links down below. Extra wallets. They can get you something amazing for Father's Day. Get yourself a wallet at the same time. Tracker cards and all that other stuff. It's one so, of the better bundles. Oh, absolutely. Huge, huge percentages off. So click those links. See if anything there you like. And... Uh, uh, Anger Joe is back on Wednesday, so yes. uh, OJ and I will be streaming tomorrow. So business as usual uh, later this week. Yeah, and we'll keep you posted also on uh, the Q and A. Obviously, it's going to be later on, the first week of June, probably end of this week. Yeah, yeah, something mm. like that. All right, thank you so much, and we will see you on the <coughs> next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.